Australian politicians are known to speak their mind, but during this election campaign, it seems many have failed to think before they speak. First up, One Nation's Stephanie Bannister, 48 hours in politics, proved to be a very long time. I don't oppose Islam as a country, um, but I do feel that their laws should not be welcome here in Australia. Less than 2% of um, Australians follow Haram. Politicians are supposed to be polished and well-versed in most things. So when you find yourself in a hole, the old adage is stop digging. Jews aren't under Haram, they have their own religion which um, follows Jesus Christ. It's quite impossible that during an election campaign there wouldn't be one or two slips of the tongue. But there are a few people who seem to be doing it one too many times. Opposition leader Tony Abbott has had his fair share of embarrassing moments. No one, however smart, uh, however well educated, however experienced, is the suppository of all wisdom. And I believe that we will be a much better government uh, because we have a very strong team. What he meant to say, of course, was repository. Prime Minister Kevin Rudd didn't escape Gaffrey. Right before the first televised debate, he was accused of being rude to a makeup artist who later published the comments on Facebook. She said it made her decision on election day much easier. Newspapers weren't shy about trying to influence people to vote for their preferred party. The Murdoch Press in particular launched a campaign against the government. While the headline writers got creative, did they overstep the mark? Sometimes deeply personal, sometimes dirty, there was no subject and no one who was out of bounds. There's been a cast of unlikely candidates. WikiLeaks' Julian Assange channeled John Farnham in his offbeat race to the polls. While we've all had a bit of fun with these slip-ups, it's unlikely that the stumbles and mishaps will have any lasting effect on the final results. It does leave a bit of a smile on your face, though.